Did you know I don't always accept free products like free guns, free rifles, free airsoft products to review on my channel? Sometimes I say no thank you to companies that offer them to me. Did you also know I made a decision to move away from the M4 platform for a good while? Because I keep seeing memes and comments all over the place, all over the internet saying, oh no, not another M4. So can someone tell me why I accepted today's package? Today's video is sponsored by Delta Armory. So why Delta Armory? When I have in the past and not too long ago turned down other well-established companies that also produce that sort of AR M4 type platforms which I'm moving away from a little bit, not completely, but just a little bit. If there's nothing special about them, I won't bother to accept them as a freebie or as a sponsorship deal. So why did I go for Delta Armory? Well, the people or some of the people behind this new company used to work for companies such as, get this, Palco USA, Umarex and ASG. Now you can understand why that caught my attention. So they sent me three examples from their range, starting from the most affordable. So technically this one can be included in Airsoft on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> So as you can see here, I have three boxes. Now you will be forgiven for thinking I've got three of the same here. Uh, uh The one in front is the budget version, the one I'm opening today. The two behind, they start to go up in range with features and build, they're more expensive. But don't be fooled, the one in front, this budget version, it boasts some features that you would expect from a more expensive AEG. And that's the biggest selling point for this budget version from Delta Armory. So let's get it open. Okay, so let's see what we get. Now straight away, we have a manual. Cool. Only thing is, it's not English. Look, but wait. With a flick of the hand, it's now English. Ha <laughs> ha, cool. Now, what I really love about this, you've pretty much got everything that you would need if you're starting out in Airsoft. The price you pay for this and what you get is pretty decent. Now, it does come with a charger. You know how I feel about these sort of chargers, but at least this one does have some form of indicator on there. However, you know, invest in a nice little smart charger. It doesn't have to be an expensive one, but this one will get you going, but make sure you do not charge your battery pack for more than four hours. So what else do you get? Well, you get said battery pack. How cool is this? And not just any old battery pack, look, a 9.6 battery pack. It's quite rare that you would get a battery pack like this in a package at such a low price. And you're thinking, well, how much is it? Well, hold on. Well, if you can't hold on, you can take a look down in the video description. Another cool thing that I like about this, actually, let's go here. a foregrip and this was so unexpected a mid cap mag now if you've been watching my channel for a while you know I hate high caps only because of the whole rattling situation but this is a mid cap how cool is that and it's very much of the style of you know the P mag types of magazines pretty awesome and look it's even got that up there depicting the real caliber and now for the rifle itself and you will be pleasantly surprised would you look at this for a beginner's budget rifle look at what you're getting <laughs> don't get me started on the rail covers look you've even got 
your flip up rear sight. <laughs> well, we'll come back to that. Let me just move things out of the way and we'll take a good look at this baby. So, apart from the fact that you get a nice mid cap mag, a foregrip, and this battery pack, you will be pleasantly surprised about the features that you get in this bad boy. But first, let me just complete that picture. So with the included foregrip, no tools required to install it. You just simply loosen that there and then slide it on the rail to your desired position and then making sure you've got a clear run so you can see right through that hole you tighten it up right let's get the mag in just to uh so what do you get with this and why is it such good value for money well i'll tell you this despite its price point this has a quick spring release, and I mean a quick spring release, a quick motor release, it has a precision barrel, a rotary hop up, and a flat trigger. Come on now, a CNC Type A flat trigger. How many budget rifles do you see sporting that bad boy? And it's metal too. So just to tell you, predominantly, the exterior is a strong polymer build, including the mag. Of course, your internals are gonna be metal. Your barrel and flash hider is going to be metal. Your front iron sight, which is adjustable, full metal. You've even got a bayonet lug, metal. You've got your front sling point. And again, how cool are these rail covers? As mentioned before, these type of accessories you would be expected to buy separately but it comes with this cool so as you can see it has a generous amount of rail space so naturally beneath your covers you have your side rails your lower rail your top rail and here on the rail you have your rear flip up sight and as you can see you can change the sight picture from a small peephole to a large one. So as we move downwards, you have your rear sling point. You've also got additional sling points here, here, and you can put a QD sling point adapter here on either side. Okay, so beneath your rear sight, you have your charging handle. That opens up your dust cover, which in turn reveals your rotary hop-up adjustment. Nice. Your fire selector switch. Now, you know me, I like to test if these are loose, if they're positive, if they're nice feeling or just really cheap and nasty. Now, this is a budget rifle. So here goes. Oh. No, seriously, that's not bad. For something at this price point, that's a pretty decent fire selector switch. So you've got your safe, semi-auto and full auto. And then as we move along, you've got your mock bolt lock and release and your nice looking Delta Armory branding. And something else quite rare for a budget rifle a unique serial number and then of course we come back to something that really surprised me almost like a competition style trigger so when i get round to putting the battery in we'll just test where the actual biting point is and see if it's a short travel or not but again please keep in mind it's a beginner's rifle it's a budget rifle that is beginning to show features that you would expect on something a bit more expensive for example, here's your grip. You've got some nice texturing, which you'll find on both sides, some serrations on the front, and you have a toolless motor access. So you need no tools if you need to gain access to the motor, which is housed in your grip. You simply pinch the sides of the base, open the door, remove this, and you have access to your motor. Okay, so flipping it to the other side, you have your mag release 
and you've got some more Delta Armoury markings and I'm loving when they put this on airsoft rifles restricted for military or law enforcement use only. Now for the purpose of safety and because this is more geared towards your more beginner or intermediate airsoft player I'm probably going to have more newer people to the sport slash hobby watching this so I will say this even though I didn't do it because I know there's nothing in there whenever you're doing anything to this rifle other than firing it make sure the mag is out and there's no battery in the stock so another deciding factor for me in accepting these to review right here on the Airsoft Mike channel when I initially said I will do no more M4 type rifles I was just so surprised that despite that it's a budget rifle it has a true quick change spring system let me show you how it's done and how easy it is so again I'm gonna actually do this this time mag out now I know there is no battery pack in here, it's over there, so there's no way it will fire, but you do have some airsoft rifles that are air cocking. But I know this is now completely safe and will not fire, so even if I take it off safe, what you want to do is point it in a safe direction, fire just to make sure. You then want to remove your stock. Oh, and by the way, before I take it off, I might as well show you, it's a six position stock. So. I'm going to call it position one when it's closed. That's two, three, four, five, six. And to remove the stock, you manipulate this right here in the opposite direction. So when you're closing it in and putting it in your different positions, you would press it in. When you're taking it off, you extend it fully. Then in the opposite direction, Pull it down and your stock comes right off. Now if you look down your buffer tube, you will see a Phillips screw head. Grab a long enough screwdriver, undo that screw. And then, right there, behind that slot is your spring. And then all you have to do is grab an Allen key and give it a short turn and out comes your spring. Okay, so let's get this uh, stock back on. So again, we're pulling this section all the way down. So it slides on, release it, and you're good to go. And on the back of the stock, you've got this nice, thick, rubberized butt plate, which is texturized. Right, let me get the battery pack in before I show you one or two more features on this, and then we're gonna take it to the range. Well, this little indoor thing I've got. <laughs> so to get into the battery compartment, you want to push against these. I say these because there's another one on the other side. So let's see now. It should be pretty easy to do. There you go, it's open. And it does come right off, cool. Then you remove this section and that will once again reveal your Tamiya plug for your battery. Then you wanna grab your crane battery pack and slot each stick in each hole respectively. And before you connect the battery pack, make sure your rifle is on safe. Then you can go ahead and connect your battery. And now we are ready to test to make sure this thing fires. So again, I'm not gonna put any uh, mag in there or any BBs, I just wanna make sure it works. So we just get it on uh, semi-auto, single shots. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice trigger response. So we know it works, but let's check out how far we have to pull this trigger back before it fires. Here we go. Not bad at all, it's right there. And there's your reset, let's do that again. Nice, listen for the reset. Soon as you hear that click, you can go for another shot. Nice, now, we know it's full auto, so let's just test that, here we go. Oh, 
Ooh, tasty. Right, let's get the mag ready. Now, what I love about this mag, as I said before, it's a mid cap, so there'll be no rattling once the BDs are in. It's a 130 round mag. Okay, mag full, rifle on safe. Right, let's check out the chrono readings. Now, I've had an appropriate spring installed in here so it doesn't break any UK laws and is a bit more appropriate for UK gameplay sites. 339.5, last one. Three, four, three. So we are looking at about an average of 340, but when you buy this bad boy, it will come firing out of the box anywhere around the 370 plus FPS mark. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, time for a quick accuracy test. I will say I am pretty impressed with this so far, considering it's more of a beginner's budget rifle. It really does go beyond that of what I would expect of a budget rifle. But can it shoot straight? <laughs> well, can I shoot straight? Yes, I can, thank you very much. So, let's do this. Four shots there, four shots there. I'll go for a single shot right here and then. I'll flip the fun switch and dump the mag here. Right, let's have a quick look at this. As you know, the red circles, less than three centimeters, the big yellow circle here, I say big, <laughs> that's less than nine centimeters, so they're actually quite small. So as you can see there, all my shots landing below the actual X, okay, so it was shooting a little low. Then as we come to this target right here, you can see I realigned my sight picture and I was getting much better results and almost got dead center on that X. And then my single shot right there, not bad at all. And then I flicked that fun switch and the results speaks for itself. So what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. For the price point that this comes in, and I'm actually gonna tell you this now, <laughs> for the price point that this comes in, which is only in and around the 100 euro mark, where if you look at it, that's about 100 to about 110 US dollars, or even around the 100 pound mark, oh my gosh, this is really value for money. You get the mid cap mag, the foregrip, the battery, the battery charger, then the rifle itself sports a unique serial number, a precision barrel, a quick release spring system, a toolless motor release, a CNC made A-type sport trigger, and an SHS piston with 14 metal teeth inside. I think this is fantastic, but you know me, if I find anything that I think, oh, meh, I'll tell you. So I'm gonna tell you right now. But just keep in mind how much you're paying for this and the features that it has. So, I found that the stock at the back was a little bit wobbly. But hey, most of these airsoft guns do have a slight give on the stock at the back. And I would have preferred if those rail covers had a slightly more 
tighter fit. But hey, I'm just nitpicking. For that price point and all that you get with those what I perceive to be superior features and internals compared to something else out there in that price range, you can't go wrong with the Delta Armory AR15 CQBR Charlie. Now, as you have seen, there are two more boxes as I mentioned earlier. Inside those boxes are two other rifles that are more expensive, but again, the features that they sport, you would expect to pay a lot more for those two. But those videos will be coming up at a later date. So if you like this, check out their Facebook page, their Instagram, they've got a website, which at the time of this video is still under construction, that's how new this company is. If your local Airsoft retailer does not have the Delta Armoury line, ask them to get it in or you can buy it directly through Amazon, depending on what country you are in, and you can also search for it on Google. Thanks again to Delta Armoury, I'm Airsoft Mike, you've been my viewers, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel.